What's up guys? Welcome back to this channel, another video. Today we're gonna to be transforming this galaxy pour that I did about a year and a half ago into an actual galaxy. So as you can already see, we got a bunch of different colors of paint on the canvas. Today's another brushwork day. I'm super excited about these days. It's a brand new thing I've never done before and I've started doing it and I absolutely love it so far. So with that, we're just gonna get right into move in some of this color now some of you are probably wondering what this is on the canvas um, I have some cry cut plastic from when I used to be big into making coasters and whatnot and that is what I'm using here to kind of give me this look here or helps control the paint. It does leave really sharp defined lines, which I'm very happy with. So with that, how's everybody doing this wonderful day? I hope everybody's doing amazing. I am doing fantastic. Can't complain. I think with the bigger planet, we'll use the bigger color. We're gonna work our way from violet color right it's a beautiful color into the darker yeah I was really surprised I put the cry cut down and did a little bit of this painting around it and it remained very intact it uh, left some really really sharp lines and it was it worked a lot better than I had expected it to work to be honest but no, I'm, I'm really enjoying this whole kind of different approach I'm taking to some of these acrylic pours and kind of trying to like step outside my comfort zone just a little. And let me bring some greens around because we're going to be blending all these colors anyway. Grab another paper towel. And this is new, so... I, I don't expect to be an expert. Um, this just had some whites and blacks on it, so it should be all right. Again, let's get that nice stripe of green metallic from Pebio going right down the center there. And we're gonna just mix in some of this neon green that's sitting around. But yeah, the whole idea was to turn this into an actual galaxy because it looks, it looked stunning. I really loved the way it looked, but I felt like it could be taken a step further. So I wanted to do it, bring you guys along because I enjoy painting with you guys. So I hope everybody's doing amazing. It's another glorious day here in Detroit. Today's the last day of my weekend, unfortunately. Went too fast, you guys, but then again, I think it always does. All right, so now I got some aluminum foil to create that texture and blending. So we're gonna start just tapping, tapping. I found that it creates a really cool, interesting texture to the paints. It kind of gets rid of some of the brushes, the brushwork, and helps dis like disseminate some of the colors around the canvas. And I mean, I really like the look of it. All right, so that's one. How's that for ASMR, guys? <laughs> right? He's going crazy. All right, let's, let's start getting this moon texture. I plan on peeling these off and doing a little bit of further embellishment too. I just 
one actually could use a little bit of white. So here we go. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm stepping outside and trying different things. So let me just add more paint to it. And maybe that'll add, oh, there we go. Yeah, actually that worked well. Are you guys ready for your next ASMR? <laughs> oh Lord. All right, let's start with the light. Try to disseminate some of these colors in there, huh? The whole idea was this one to be more of an Earth-like planet. Earth, moon, and then, you know, that's the, the planet in the deep reaches of the solar system that kind of doesn't sustain life out there. I want a little bit more of this cerulean blue, so we can have a little bit more water in there, you guys. There we go. There we go. Let's just pick it up. Thalo blue. And you know what? I had it pulled out because I wanted to use it, but I didn't put any on there. Mistakes were made. So I'm going to go to a different part of this foil. And oh, there we go. That's the, that's a little bit of life that we were looking for there. Love it. All right. And you guys will probably be the first to see what these look like, but I will be peeling these off while they're wet. So I had to use a lot of tape, you guys. I only had the small painter's tape. So I know I'm gonna get a lot of you in the comments talking about how I waste materials and all that. And you're right, to a certain degree, a lot of stuff does get wasted. As far as the paints go, the drippings always get recycled into skins. And I have a whole binder full of them that I make jewelry at, or I make jewelry out of them. I'll put a link to that video somewhere up there in the YouTube ether for those of you that might be interested in what my process is for turning my uh, acrylic pour skins into jewelry. but. Yeah, I do have a whole video dedicated to my process there. I gotta find a better way. Because I'm excited, you guys. I, I want to unwrap my present now. You know what I mean? I can be unpatient. Un unpatient? I don't even think that's a word. Impatient? Ren? You know? I have found that I do have a hard time getting this up, so I have to be very careful using the tools that I have that I don't puncture through, but I've had pretty good luck so far. All right, so cleanly just peel this one off. This is awkward, you guys, because it's like, I don't want it to snap like that, but I also don't want to drop the tape down onto the canvas either. All right, let's see. It created a very nice circle, a very clean, defined, sharp line. I love that. All right, so that planet looks very rad. Oh, 
wonder if, nah, that's too much. Let me get rid of all the tape. I was thinking maybe I could pick up the whole thing at once, but that's a whole lot of adhesive and I was already struggling with the little, the little loop, you guys. So I'm not gonna add any more frustration to the process here. I think this planet's gonna look so cool. That one looks really cool on its own. Kind of like a, a Martian little galaxy. All right, now. Reach my finger under there. And hopefully it all comes off in one piece this time. No, it did not. No, it did not. Well, that is quite all right, because you will come off. There we go. Oh, the cry cut tape that I'm using is the removable kind. I guess there's a permanent kind. I'm really glad that I didn't grab that because I probably would have really had a nightmare trying to get that off the canvas. Well, this was a lot easier. Why didn't I do that the first time? Well, that's cool looking. I'm gonna get my dryer out, dry all this up. I wanna add a little bit of details, like brighten up some of the edges, but I love it so far, it looks so cool. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.